Hey guys, I'm just introducing a. Uh, I'm just updating my uh, previous uh, video. Uh, I'm just introducing the M browser. Uh, I added some multiple uh, functionalities inside that one. Right now, it will it it can able to support multiple uh, folder structures, like how many sub so how many subfolders you want. You can just uh, have so many. It's it's up to you. I like say for example in I have my uh, trees like branches and left branch leaves or like that you have lot of uh, options for the multiple folders and you have a lot of options for uh, uh, create, storing your own uh, thumbnail images it's un unlimited and you can download from of course from high end 3d if you go to hand 3d and search for m browser and you'll go to the download session and you can download it whatever uh, it's you can download it from hand 3d and once you download it you just make sure you just uh, came to m uh, um, uh, your document uh, your documents directory in uh, windows and uh, <coughs> in linux also is the same like my my folder and your my version and in script directory and you just go to M browser and you can just put all this uh, stuff inside the script for uh, M browser and once it's done you can just go to Maya and uh, you just uh, go to your script editor oh, of course I have here and you just run this oh, I have the folder right now here I'll just remove it so when uh, when you start the script it'll may it'll give you error message saying like it's not existing you can just ignore it and uh, you can go to the project browser so the the base the basic stuff is i'll explain this all each icon uh, uh, specifically so right now i'll explain the project browser if you go to project browser here you can just add your root folders like in this case if you go to if you go to this directory this is the root folder high-end 3d test is the root folder and whatever inside is treated as assets so like you can have multiple items in a root folder but you should say you should uh, browse and say like this is the root folder for this script to work perfect uh, so in this case uh, what I'm going to do I'm just add my root folder high end test so I have my my file over here you have multiple options like import or reference or open or all those stuff and you have you can see like multiple you know, file formats also av available and you, you can see like multiple versions also available so like say you have like a hand test version 1 version 2 version 3 or whatever so it will automatically detect the versions so you can choose the versions which version you want to import or open or whatever uh, for creating the thumbnail you can just use render or you can use the play blast and if you're importing you can use the namespace or you can use you don't want to, if you don't want to use the namespace you just ignore this one and right now I'm going to open the Maya file so I'll just choose the uh, MA option here and the version 1 and I'll just go for open so I have my file over here so I'll just select this and the file extensions like you can see like if I have my uh, uh, ABC, FBX, MA, MB and OBJ and all those stuff this stuff you can just control through the edit option like edit config file you just go so right now I'm just going to delete this and you'll say like heap and Houdini file and you can just save it so if you have a version inside your folder like with the dot .hip extension it will automatically detect that one so you can control your extensions how you want so you have like a lot of options uh, uh, flexibility over that one so right now I just opened my uh, 
my thumbnail I mean my my file I'll and I'm going what I'm going to do I'm just uh, going to create a thumbnail image so if you want to create a thumbnail image you can just click on the thumbnail so right now I'll, it'll automatically create a thumbnail image so okay so later I just updated my material attributes so I'll just create close so I just created my thumbnail image so you can see like there is two buttons right now so with this one you can have load of thumbnail image for the same file so say for example I just created another thumbnail image okay and I just, I'm going to use the play blast instead of thumbnail so you can see like for each files you can have multiple thumbnail images that's not a issue anymore uh, there is no limit or anything so right now and if you click on the thumbnail image you will see the file details like who is the file owner and who what is the file name what is the file size and where is the file is located and what is the unit data like uh, what is its centimeter angle is degree and time is uh, film like 24, 24, 24 FPS and the node details you will see like load of information about the nodes like what are the nodes is available in the scene file uh, like you can see like time or pers uh, there is a sphere one so a node and node types you can available here and it will tell you what are the plugins and all those stuff is in you need and what is the file inform uh, file types you need all the information you will get it this is actually runtime say for example I'm I just open a new scene file sorry about that so say for example I'll just uh, don't save so right now I don't have anything in my scene file but if I'll select MA and version 1 I'll still see everything so it's like you don't need to open the scene file to see the information so it's pretty handy and you'll still see this all the versions available all the images available here I just open this and what I'll do and the next one what I want to discuss about this note window say for example you want to send this file to a new artist and he want he don't know about anything about this file so uh, you want to say something specific about this file you can just say like okay this is a test file and save the add note and of course you, uh, and you make your uh, your old changes say for example I'll just make like middle attributes I'll just make red color and all the stuff and of and I'll just save this file and I'll just go for new scene file. Oh sh okay. Uh, now your next artist when he opened the scene file, he'll go for ME and when he click he will see like this is a test file. So before opening the scene file itself he can just understand what is inside the scene file and so of course the near notes he can he can see it and he can see all the uh, all the stuff inside I mean all the screens uh, screen capture and everything he can see it so here you have like three options of course like you can either import it
you can import it you can open it you can reference it say for example if you want to Im, uh, you, you want Im, uh, you want to just go for uh, reference just go for reference so it will just reference instead of that one so this is the basic uh, widget information and this is actually available for MB also like if you click on the MB file you can still uh, even for Maya uh, MA or MB or uh, any uh, any for any format yeah, uh, you can add informations. Say, for example, like uh, now my my scene file is in MB. I don't have any thumbnail image, so I can just open it. So I have still the information about the scene file here. You can see like all the information. I have the binary info. What are the all all the stuff and everything. Uh, and I can create a thumbnail image for that MB file. That's fine. And I'll maybe. I'll go for wireframe and just select this and instead of libast so yeah I have this one and so it's 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 all up to you how do you want how the way you want to control it it's all up to you and that's the way the basic widget how it works uh, and the next one is actually I can show you like the outline uh, outline stuff like you have a new con control uh, whenever you open a uh, M browser you have option to for the dock liner if you click on the dock liner you'll have like a uh, outliner with a channel box so it's very easy for you to do the manipulations and everything within Maya which is actually is you can see the outliner and you can see the uh, the channel box also in the same time and the another one more stuff say for example I'll just switch to my uh, which is actually having some texture applied uh, the dome light so the dome light There is a problem with the dome light. Uh, you can just go to um, window and you can just create a uh, ENV dome. So you can just use the light dome. So what it will do, it will basically create a new dome kind of light for like like a tent table or something so you can just like say like 20 so it will create a, a sphere with a, a huge uh, stuff and then you can choose your light type what kind of light you want to use it and how many types how many light you want to create you can just create the, the lights and you can maybe you can just use a ramp instead of the color or you can use a texture it's all the functions here and uh, the, the best function which I feel like you like it uh, you have you can control the intensity for the, all the lights for all and you can just create let's like, say like okay so I want 0 0.8 and and the best function the customer say for example uh, you have like multiple of course you have multiple lights in your scene file right now so you want to control this light red color you can select this and this color this light 
green color you want to select uh, you want to control it you can just this color light you can do that and you can control this light in density and this light uh, maybe this light uh, shadow color so it's 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 of course it's up to you like well, <clears throat> which kind of attribute you want to add it you can control so many uh, it's 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 all up to you uh, you can control multiple uh, different attributes from different lights so once you've done everything you can just and you of course you have like a lot of options here for all lights you can control the color all the lights you can control the shadow or each light you can do it it's all there is a lot of options here and uh, once if you done that you can just uh, come to our browser and choose our version version 1 and render it you'll see it different of course different kind of uh, stuff okay so this is the way uh, how the basic car uh, structure is work uh, and you have option for like uh, view the files so if you click on the view file system you can see like what are the files available inside this one you'll see every all the files so this is the bread uh, root folder and this is the asset folder and it's available for all the file details and everything is available here and um, you can load folder and all the stuff if you want to remove this folder you can any folder you want to remove from the project you can just remove it and if you want to add it any folder you can just go to either load folder and now I'm going to <coughs> add a multiple level file so I showed you before like this another folder is actually having a tree and the tree having like branches and the branches is having like left branch and leaves uh, and the right branch is having also having leaves so it's like multiple uh, subfolder system so this can handle so many folders inside that so you don't want to worry about limits and all those stuff you can just choose it and close it it will show you all the folders and everything over here so it's basically it's all rendered and everything and whenever you click you will see the information about the file and there is only my file MA is available and maybe this one is actually having some MB files and some alambic files MA files so and this one is automatically this window is automatically available uh, adjust the rows so if you just choose multiple rows it's fine how many rows and columns you want it's up to you uh, you don't want to set uh, there is no limit for any rows and columns and all those stuff and yeah, if you want to just remove everything, you can just trash it, and if you reload it, you'll, you'll see everything. You can filter it, which folder you want to see. You can just go for another test; it will show only another test folder. If you go for high-end test, it will show only high-end test. If you reload it, it will show both folders. Uh, here also, you can add the folder and. Yeah, basically those all the stuff I want to just cover it. You can just the basic the basic purpose of, purpose of this uh, this GUI is actually give maximum information about the file to the user. Like the user don't want really open the Maya and see the file, open the Maya scene file and see what are the nodes inside the file or if any uh, any node passed by the previous artist or anything kind of like that. So it's basically a clean structure of how to uh, use the file system. 
so thanks guys for watching and uh, hope you en enjoyed and if you have any comments or questions or anything just post in high three i'll try to my maximum to uh, uh, replay it uh, that's it thanks bye bye